this is Erica Bain back again with another Power Book 3 Raising Canaan video. Let's talk about episode 8 in this preview. Alright y'all, the trailer for episode 8 is given very much so action, very much so, okay, it's time, it's on, it's do or die, let's go. And I'm excited, episode 8 is definitely about to be an action pack one. We see the war with Unique heating up. In the trailer we see Unique talking about something, it's about to get real smoky out here, and we see his dudes, his soldiers standing outside somebody's house and just letting it rip. Now, I think that this could be Rock's house which would be crazy if he just decides to go all out and just spray the damn house down like that's some real rec reckless wild wild west stuff but at this point we have seen you know unique reach out to lulu try to get him to flip we've seen them shish kebab and barbecue scrappy we've seen them try to take lulu at the showcase so he's really pulling up all the stops and becoming more and more unhinged so it honestly it's not it's not completely outside the realm of reason that he would do some crap like this so we really gonna have to just wait and see in the episode in reference to seeing exactly where he hit but we know that he hitting right and i think that this is going to be in retaliation i think that rock is going to stay on the offensive we saw in the episode seven that she was you know applying pressure I sent lulu to take out a soldier he missed don't know how that happened but you know they already knew that that's what was going on and she just gonna keep going she at this point it's got her back against the ropes and she got to keep swinging <laughs> she got to go down swinging so i think that it's definitely going to be in retaliation so we're going to see the war heat up in that way at the start of the trailer we hear lulu say we ain't got enough product to last and we hear Marvin say we need a new supply and Rock is working on it. In episode seven, we saw her meet with Joaquin, the new connect. Julia, the bodega owner's wife, definitely came through, made the connection. Got a little favor that she got tucked in her pocket for when she needs Rock to step in and, and handle her husband. She's definitely going to be able to do so. But we didn't see an actual agreement be made. We saw Joaquin say he's going to reach out. He definitely enjoyed talking with Rock. He's interested but I think he's going to pull a pop up on her. He's not necessarily going to do business how she's expecting it. So as they wait to hear back from him in reference to being a new supply, they continue to run out. They didn't already had the the issue with the with the bad crack that Kanan cooked up, which already messed up some of it. So they cut some of that crack with that. They had to throw out the rest. They couldn't even sell that. So they just their reserves are dwindling, dwindling, dwindling down. Like they, you know, Dean gave her the boot a few episodes ago, and they've been trying to figure out what they're going to do ever since. Also in the trailer, we see Detective Power pull Rock over. Then they have a conversation where he's talking about he got evidence on Kanan that he out here, you know, being wild, being reckless, and and basically he got proof that he, he can use against Kanan and we see him paying a crackhead to talk we see him pulling up the dude from the cookhouse who don't like Kanan anyway so I can definitely see how he didn't pull together something in reference to having a little something on Kanan that could actually put him in a baby booking for a little bit that could hold him for a bit and you kind of lean and want to believe that he's going to try to use this to blackmail her to get his bone marrow but I don't think so I think that she, he's going to use this to force Rock to tell him about him I think all detective howard needs right now is an end all he needs is for rock to let him know that it's okay or to let kanan know like yo this is your father and it's okay that you talk to him i think the detective power can take it from there i don't think that he's necessarily going to use like i'm gonna throw you in jail if you don't give me your bone marrow that's gonna seem like he a corny dude but that's some corny weak you know what and i don't think that he gonna do that like i think that that's just od i definitely think that he's going to use it to get rock to actually be honest about the fact that that's his son and we might see that start to play out in this episode and then also in the trailer we get to see rock talking to kane and they have a little bit of beef and she's like i thought i raised you different he's like well you is you to blame and we see that after he makes the comment of like yo we wasn't even dealing in the hood because because he gets caught like basically they didn't want it to come out about the gas station but somehow it came out and i think also the dang on fentanyl cut crack that he didn't put together that was basically killing people the hot shots that he cooked up i think she finds out about that too and she checks him on it and he's just bucking back and at some point kanan gotta chill like he don't move he don't move humble enough for me he don't move with with any kind of humility which is how he keeps messing up like he keeps making mistakes because he just keeps jumping out the window and keeps puffing out his chest and it's like sir you're out here getting people killed you're getting people beat up you're getting people mangled and maimed like sit your ass down and focus because you really make it too many messes and we we already got enough messes of our own and it's so sad because in this episode we're definitely going to see we're going to see Jute deal with the death of Nicole. I don't know if it's clear. I'm going to I'm going to think on a little bit more and put it in my predictions video of if she's going to find out the whole details surrounding the death of Nicole or if she just gets a couple bits and pieces here and there. In the trailer we hear her say it's this place Canaan. It's the fucked up life we 
living and that to me doesn't necessarily say that she knows exactly how nicole got the crack because she still ain't ready to kick Kane's ass but you know we here and y'all that's my quick 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 preview for episode eight power book three raising canaan season one i am going to do a full predictions video so stay tuned for that be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join the tribe if you missed any of my power book three raising canaan videos you can check them out right here i got a playlist link for you on screen it's your good sister erica Vane. i'm gonna see you in the next one bye